can tell you why you're walking through this valley and I can tell you just how long you've got to stay and I can tell you why your heart feels so unsettled when this all will change and I can tell you there is something you can lean on it's a promise that won't bend and it won't break it will keep you when your future is uncertain you're not out of grace and your darkness overwhelms you and your fear just won't subside and your questions outweigh answers on those long and lonely nights friend you gotta keep on moving he is with you in the valley the the blue lights on the stage remember those how they shine paranoid because I've already made this video I've already made it and the system ate it it was corrupted so I'm having to remake it all over again okay I have notes Let's see. Four. Okay. So what day are we in? Do y'all know? Other than it being June 6th. It's 6-6. Six, six. Okay. We're in the last days. And hard times shall come. We know we're in the last days because of... Uh, I'm not going to flip through all these pages. I've already done all that and I'm so tired. But if you're here, you already know. You already know. Okay. Um, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, 
tells us we're in those days from verse 2 to 5 it tells you all the um, personal attributes of someone that's living in I'm going to lose the page. Someone that's li living in the spirit of darkness. Um, and I've been talking about the... Sorry, guys. The collective consciousness. Remember me talking about that? And how if you are not connected to God and you're connected to the earth then your body becomes a host body for the system um, why does it do that it's, it's still recording though I'm sorry So I played you that song because I'm just feeling really defeated. And I was watching um, Little Joe, Zeus Mossbender channel. And he kind of gave me a word when he started singing in the garden. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Rejoice in the Lord your God, Elohim, when you're feeling downtrodden and brokenhearted we should worship with him and come into him and listen to music he won't leave us there when you're in the valley of despair he won't leave you there right that's what he told us so why do we want to be connected to the system and the people that we try to reach don't want to hear us and all we're doing is speaking to them in love about wanting to get them up to heaven because as above so below there's the earth matrix and the heaven matrix if you want to put it that way there's an earth realm in a spiritual realm. We are spiritual beings in an earthly body. And until we cut that cord. We're going to be this dude. Look how angry he looks. You can see physical and emotional changes. When the demon comes into the body. Okay. And they feed off of our light. They, they feed off of our souls. If we have unforgiveness. They're eating your soul. Okay. If you have hate. They're eating your soul. Dear God, I pray protection over this video, Lord, in your name. That the beast cannot get it and I can share it to all my family, soldiers in the army of, of God, watchmen, prophets, prophetess, um, people that have the Holy Spirit, Ruach Kakadesh, indwelling in them. Disciples of Yeshua HaMashiach. The tribes of Jesus. The tribes of Jacob and Abraham. The seers and the dreamers. The brothers and sisters. The 144,000. The bride of Jesus. Watchmen. Listen to me. We are, we have rules, okay? And I'll do another video on that. I have them right here if you want to look them up. We have rules to abide by. And we can find a letter to us in First Thessalonians chapter 5. That's a whole letter. In Second Thessalonians, we see signs. And in Second Timothy 3. That's where I'm at right now. But know this. Come on. 
But know this, that in the last days hard times shall come. For men shall be lovers of self, lovers of money. You know all these horrible personal traits. Having a form of reverence, but denying its power. What power? Turn away from these. So if your power isn't from reverence of God, your reverence is coming from this, and you're feeding your the enemy, your soul, <laughs> The wages of sin is death. Sin is rotten fruit. But the gift of life, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our sword. Our, I'm so tired. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. He is the sword though, isn't he? The word of God. The word of Jesus is the sword. You can only serve one master. Which one are you choosing? Proclaim the word, be urgent in season, out of season, reprove, warn, appeal with all patience and teaching. For there shall be a time when they shall not bear sound teaching, but according to their own desires. So the, the people that are connected to the B system, they have a form of reverence. That is not holy, okay? But if you do have the holy indwelling Ruach, then you have these gifts and you can find them in... 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And it talks all about the spiritual gifts. And he don't want you to be ignorant because it's power. Look. It's telling to each one is given manifestation of the spirit. For profiting. For wisdom. Knowledge. Belief, which is faith. Gifts of healing, operations of powers, which is you healing people, being healed and healing people, and working miracles, operations of powers. You're reading it right there. I didn't make it up. I'm not trying to be egotistical thinking that God gives me powers or having delusions of grandeur. I'm told right here. That I have operations of power. If I have the holy indwelling. Okay. Rock. But each of these one. Each of each one of these. Are as one. Like the trinity. Like the holy trinity. There's God. Jesus and the holy spirit. But they're all one. And then when we enter into this system. We become all one. hurts <clears throat> I'm going to read these notes I did today while Chloe was at the orthodontist um. <sighs> okay let's hurry up let me see I'm trying to get it where you can read what I wrote. In Second Timothy, chapter three, one through seven, it just sums this up. In the last days, a falling away happens. Um. 2 Timothy 4, 
verse 3, For there shall be a time when they shall not listen to sound teaching, but to their own desires, listening to teachers that tickle their ears. Ephesians six twelve. We battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in the heavens. We're told we get a crown of righteousness. And I've been told that I'm so self-righteous. No. I'm not that kind of self-righteous. There's different kinds. There's two different kinds. There's the beast system self-righteous. And there's God self-righteous. If being self-righteous in Jesus is wrong. In Jesus name. Why do the we why do we then have the opportunity to get a crown for it? Smack my head. Crap. In many verses of prophecy we read in those days or in the last days. So why do we not believe that those days have come? Why do so many that claim to know God and Jesus believe in the resurrection but don't have faith, expectation, and love? It is true that when we were growing up, it wasn't those days. But now we have come to the end of the line. So many prophetic events have already happened. Revelation, look at, look, I didn't even notice this until just now. Read what's on that paper. Secret Apple Garden. What? I swear I didn't see that until just now. And I wrote this yesterday, like at 2 o'clock p.m. A second messenger sounded in a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea became blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. This is the volcanoes erupting, and it will eventually cause a tsunami. I was at the orthodontist people, okay? I wasn't in a prayer room I wasn't just thinking up something to write. I was in an office with other people in there working on these notes because that's what Holy Spirit told me right here. These are not my words. It just is what it is, okay? If the Guatemalan volcano erupted so fast, what makes you think it won't happen? For other volcanoes to erupt. To go crazy. If the mountain explodes into the sea. And a tsunami occurs. What would happen to the boats? Ships. Sea life. And all the people that's in it. I mean. What I'm. What he's saying is. The Fuego. Volcano. They didn't even have time to move. They didn't know it was going to happen. All these volcanoes are starting to erupt. It's just going to take one to erupt the right way for this to happen. If it hit the Gulf Coast, all those oil fields and ocean rigs would be destroyed, right? Causing the water to turn red. Look up your oil, look up oil spill, Google it, and what it looks like. It looks like blood water. People wake up. This is the second Trump, I believe. Oh, but the book of Revelations is a story tale. It was written so it was written and translated and it's not really real anymore. That's what I was told.
yesterday by someone. I just want to go home so bad. And today I have to, I can't eat anything all day. I have to be on a clear diet. So I guess I'm fasting. <laughs> I guess I'll be fasting. So. I love y'all. Oh, look, this bug was in my floor. That was in our floor yesterday morning. It was huge and flapping its wings. It was still alive. It was flapping its wings and was upside down. Look at the the um what's the word for it? This is antenna. I think Clark would be mad, I can't remember. Look at that. It reminded me of the moth that was in the Silence of the Lambs. They had the skull on it, you know, and he put in the victim's mouth. That's what it looked like. And it was huge. Gross. We're putting up our pool. Look, there's the alien. All right, just live holy, you guys. Do your best to keep up righteousness. Because the locusts are coming. <laughs> Out of a bit. Oh, Lord. All right, love y'all. Bye. How do I turn it off? <laughs>